a lovely day that I decided I would just I'm gonna do some ironing outside I'm gonna bring my ironing from here and my ironing from there I've got a pile of it to do and I'll set my ironing board up behind me here on the extension and then I'm gonna do my ironing but I just wanted to show you I've been treating myself to some new glasses and this is the first pair it's got a few finger marks on it but this is the first pair as usual no frame I just like rimless ones and I like them, I think they're quite nice. They're the rounded shape with a, a square cut off the top, if you can see. Uh, that one's got a that one's got dirty finger marks on. A rounded pair, so I'm quite pleased with that them. And uh, I got these sunglasses as well, prescription sunglasses. Um when I got them the big ones, really big ones, and when I got them I thought they couldn't, and when I saw them I thought well they're going to be really nice but when I got them they had a gold bit around them I'll put them on to let you see these are my sunglasses <laughs> I'll bring it a bit closer for you to see these are my sunglasses now they did have a little bit of gold that goes around there to there and joins up with the gold there but I didn't like that did I so I've permanently felt tipped the top bit in black and I'm a lot happier with that so these are the prescription sunglasses I've got I got these from a company I usually buy from Zenny a company online called Zenny I like theirs and I really I'm regularly buying from them I got these because Zenny doesn't always do fantastically trendy styles like this but they do do nice frameless glasses for me so I got these from a company called Zilul both of them are companies that um, are bas you basically order online. They're supposed that the price is in US dollars, but I think they come from China, and it takes about two two weeks for them to come. So I'm very pleased. I think this prescription glasses. This is just an ordinary prescription sunglass, uh, so I can see long distances, which is great. I can drive with them, and uh, this one and these which are varifocal as well as uh, they don't they're not they don't tint but they're varifocal and the the two together was about 130 pounds 130 150 I think it was which I think is really good because if I bought them in England the very same ones would cost me something like uh, 400 pounds my son was just saying he's been to get his eyes tested and he said he went they showed him glasses and he fancied these varifocal ones and he said mama i got such a shock when i saw it was going to be three four hundred pounds so he says uh, what about that company that you buy them from because i always buy mine online i never buy from the shops sadly it's bad but you know unfortunately if you brought the prices down i would buy from you but they are ridiculous prices especially when you can get them cheaper and so um I've recommended him to go to Zenny and choose some from there. So I've yet to hear whether whether he's got done that, or whether he's uh, and which ones he's bought. But uh, I'll let you know. Anyway, these are the biggies, very big biggies, <laughs> and these are my frameless ones. Um, uh, we went this morning to the bank. <laughs> husband came down the stairs yesterday I'm going to have to put these glasses on because it's quite bright husband came down the stairs, stairs yesterday he came flying into my workshop and he said I am fuming <laughs> I said what's the matter what have I done he said no not you he said uh, flipping bank he says we don't we don't do telephone banking very often but he says every, and this is true every time he does telephone banking they ask him for his date of birth and he gives it and they say no that's not right <laughs> and he says it's the same bank as I had that issue with and which made me change but he hasn't changed and uh, he said flipping heck he says me, according to them I wasn't born on the day I was born and he says and then when I ask for my password they don't recognize your password and he says so I we're going into the bank tomorrow today which is a Saturday morning he said we're going to go in and sort this out so off we went early this morning went off to town and he we could see it was going to be a while so he said do you fancy going off and i'll meet up with you so i said oh yeah i said i don't i don't get to shop very often 
um, because I'm working all the time and to be honest I can't often be bothered to go into town so I said right I'm going to have a walk around House of Fraser which is a bit like John Lewis which is a bit like Debenhams which is a bit like Phoenix all those places and they have some lovely clothes and so I went around Debenhams and I tried some clothes on took a few pictures and I'll show you what they were like just a few tops that were in they were having a sale on and I, and I thought they were quite nice but I took a fancy to this particular French Connection one and I think it's so nice I had to buy it and uh, it's the grey one with a little drawstring around the waist and I, I thought that was nice and I think I might I haven't had a look at it yet but I will get it out and see what the format is on it and see if there's any pattern that I can use to make something similar. This one is the other one. This is a French Connection one. It's needle cord, it's grey needle cord, so really it's probably better for autumn, winter. But I loved this. This caught my eye. The way it curves there and the way that the the drawstring stops there and it just curves so it covers the, the big belly it doesn't make the boobs look too big it's got pockets pockets at the side and the back is straight up and down and um, the collar which you can have up and down buttoned all the way down oh, it's buttoned down to down to there and then it's basically just more of a design there the hem is a massive hem look at the size of that hem that's really wide and it's actually a piece that's been sewn onto the bottom so it's actually a facing rather than a hem but I just um, I thought it was quite flattering. I put a picture up, a little video up of me wearing it in the uh, in the changing rooms, so you can probably get a better idea of what it looked like. This is one, the first one that I got. I liked, do you know? I don't. Every time I've seen this forest-type fabric, I've thought, no, I don't like it. It's not me. It's really not me. Probably because it's got green in it. <laughs> probably because it's got green in it but I caught my eye on this the price was one thing it was about 15 pounds and the other thing was I like the style I quite like the neck and when I tried it on I thought it was fairly flattering it covers the bumps and bulges as we all like to do and um, like a shirt type thing in the middle with a little vent and uh, it just I just like it now I've also added a little brooch and that little brooch I'll tell you about in a minute and uh, so anyway I was trying some things on I make got myself not the earring not these ones but earrings like this with the tassel on and I figured right actually I think I spent about 40 pound which wasn't too bad I got two tops and two pairs of earrings <laughs> very often on a Saturday morning and there was a carnival, some kind of a carnival on so I put a little video up of what the carnival was like.
Oh, we went for a coffee. A coffee and uh, we look, our favourite cafe is down in the basement of House of Fraser at the moment. Fraser. Golly, it's getting hot. Oh, my sister lives in the south of France. And I messaged her to say, how are you bearing up? Because I don't know, you will know that in France, apparently the temperatures are exceedingly high. And she did say to us a couple of years, I think it was last year, or the year before, went to visit her. And she was saying the temperatures got so bad that apparently, a few years back, that apparently a lot of people died. And I can see why, because it's an unbearable heat. Now this has just come on today, so it's lovely for us. We've had lousy June weather. Um, but it is warm <laughs> by British standards this is warm I can feel and this isn't any good I'm gonna have to change it to something a bit more um, a bit less absorbing of heat anyway where was I um, oh yes we went for a coffee and we got this lovely we decided to, we saw these cakes and the cakes were nice but we thought right can't come on let's just have half we'll share that share the one it was a lovely um long french kind of oh it was gorgeous it was like a sausage roll but it was in crisp crusty croissant type pastry with icing sugar and almonds and um what else is having uh pecans and things pecan nuts and it was long it was about probably about the size of that so we decided to cut it in half and have half each with a nice cup of coffee and thoroughly enjoyed that we came out and there was a carnival going on and we watched that for just i don't know what was on. i think it's just a music festival type thing so we filmed i filmed a little bit of that which you can see there and um back home and I've got a pile of iron to do, which I've already told you about. So, do you remember when I put this on? And I said, spot the difference. Well, first of all, somebody asked me what pattern did I use? Now, I can't remember. I, I think this one I traced from a... I bought a couple of tops from QVC. A few years back and I did like them and they were I can't remember who they were but I thought they were lovely jersey tops and um, let me just go and see if I can find them hi everybody uh, you're going to see a bit of a video where I'm wearing something different and the reason being that this that was taken this morning it got hotter and hotter and hotter and I kind of had to take a break I had actually gone out to look and look for something else and had to take a break so um, I'm back change the top because I needed something cooler on I think I was wearing a black t-shirt so I'm just gonna move you back a bit and um, do you remember I was telling you about this this particular top that I had um, I think I've got a little video in one of my videos about it and I said spot the difference well first of all somebody said what pattern is it now I can't remember whether it's a pattern or whether it's a copy of something I have a couple of tops like this that I've bought elsewhere this one is a Roman top it's by Roman, which is an, Eng an English company. And I've got another one that's very similar, that's from QVC. And um, I like them both, I like the style. And I did trace this one off. I traced this one off to, what did Mitch say? I traced this one off or the other one off, I can't remember which one it was, but I like this style. It's straight up and down, and because it's jersey, it's, it doesn't need darts, or at least it doesn't have darts. And um, it just seems, I, li I like the shape of it. So anyway, I, did, I used this fabric that I got last year, and I made this, but I didn't have enough fabric. And the difference is that that sleeve is a complete sleeve and that sleeve 
is made up of is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. It's an eight piece sleeve. But can you tell when I'm wearing it? You can't I tried to match it up as best I could. But it, I had a metre of fabric and it's quite wide. And as I say, when I wore it, um, I'll put my arms through like that to show you. That's that one. See there? That's that one. And then this one. That one there. You might be able to see where the differences are. Down there, seam down there. A seam down there, seam there. A couple of seams around the back here. But it, unless I tell somebody, I don't think they would notice. So, and I actually liked it because I, what I liked about it was quite long and I could wear it. I thought I'd leave it long because then I can wear it, not just, um, I could wear it with jeggings. Jeggings? Like black leggings, black leggings in the winter. But anyway, this one, I just loved the fabric from this Roman one. This is Jersey. And I just thought, if ever anybody knows where I can get some beautiful Jersey like that, it's nearly all black with tinges of grey, tinges of grey, and this lime green that sets it off beautifully. I'm looking constantly for this kind of a fabric in Jersey. And if I come across it, please let me know. If you come across it, let me know because I think it's gorgeous. So, um, Oh, and if I haven't used that, then this is my go. This has been my go-to top that I've made. So I'm not sure if I've made it from this one. I'll take it out because it's got a reflection on the envelope. I'm not sure if I've made it from this one. And I think I, if I have, it would have been the neck, that version F there, where the neck goes across. And I just made it longer. I generally added about four or five inches to make it longer but bear in mind that I'm short I'm only five one so um, what's longer on me would probably be just <laughs> down to your waist on somebody else <laughs> so that was the difference that was what is the difference the difference is that the sleeve is made of lots of little pieces and uh, I was quite pleased with the fact that it turned out that way I didn't think it I wasn't sure whether it would or not little, aside a little additional thing these are beautiful glasses but by god they're heavy on my nose <laughs> i think that it, thankfully they don't cost too much so they'll probably just be worn for the summer this summer and then we'll go for a new pair next year but they keep dropping down because they're so heavy they're kind of light but heavy um so yes i like them but I, i'm not sure and they make me feel like i've got big thick eyebrows and i've never ever been a one for drawing eyebrows on my head so um it, it took it take a bit of getting used to me again wearing this top that i've uh, not made it's actually as i've as i said in my video that way i think that uh, i bought it but i do like it i didn't think i would like these uh, these leaves that every that is a fashion like the tropically type things but actually i do like this one i think to be fair the price <laughs> because it was 15 15 pound that appealed to me and it was um i tried the one that i tried on was a size 18 and it was way too big the sleeves i think that's the one i got on video where the sleeves are really long and i just thought you know it's not, when i was i was just about to buy it and then i thought i said to the lady i said i'm just going to go and see if you've got a smaller size than this and uh, when i went they only had a 14 and so i then thought right i went back and i said i'm going to try this on and see what it's like and actually this is the 14 I would normally have gone for a 16 or an 18. I like to do baggy baggy, but this um, this actually, I felt that this was very comfortable on me. So this was a 14. And um, I was wondering if I have a pattern that, that's very similar. Oh, here she is, here's Trouble. Hello. Hello, Trouble. 
Hello. Hello, have you come off that chair that in the other room? Yeah? Have you? Yeah? You're not talking to me. She's not talking to me. Are you just going to sit there? Hmm? She's not talking to me. That is very unusual because normally you never stop talking, don't you? You never stop talking when I when you're on the camera. Yeah. And you've got little puddingy feet. Look at her lovely little round feet. Aren't they gorgeous? You've got lovely round feet. Those little slippers look lovely on your feet. I wish I had fairy slippers like that. Oh, oh now watch this. There's going to be, oh, this one doesn't like the white one being around. Oh, that's it. Just cop it. <laughs> How to get rid of a cat in two seconds. Bring the white one in. Um, anyway, I like this pattern. I've got a pin, a needle stuck here. Sorry. Uh, I like this pattern. Oh, she's looking up at the camera now. And um, so I thought, well, I'll have a look at it and see if I can find a pattern that, that is equally as good that I can make myself. Um, and so, yes, that's what I did. I bought this one. I bought the grey needle cord one. The grey needle cord is a 14 as well. And that just caught my eye. It was that one that caught my eye first. And then, you know, how you can try more than one thing on i thought oh i'll try more than one thing on so i went and uh, try i picked this one up and i picked another one up but the other one was very similar to the kind of things that i would wear anyway just a square a, a straight across type of t-shirty type thing and so in the end i thought i'm going to treat myself because i don't <laughs> I, t I i shouldn't say this but i don't normally buy a lot of clothes and um what would i say it, 40% bought, 30% bought, 70% made and so I do buy trousers, I often buy trousers but I've got lots of trouser fabric which I need to use up so I might just start making a bit more, a few more trousers. It's not that I don't want to sew them, it's that I just don't have the time. As you know I'm still working, doing paperwork, I had this weekend to sort the VAT out for the for this quarter again um finished my book so i've now got a bit more time and um so i think i'll have more time to sew so fingers crossed anyway i wanted to show you this because this came I'm not sure if you can see that let's see it there can you see it there this came it's a little brooch i'll put show you the back the back is just a rounded that's that's the remainder of a price label that was on there but the brooch, if I can get close enough, and I'll probably put it on, I'll take a close-up photograph of it. You see that there? That is, she, my sister bought it, bought three from France for me and sent them to me. She often sends me little presents. And this was, um, she said, you won't believe what this is made from. Now, I don't use them, but it's actually made from coffee pods. You know, the coffee pods that you put into the coffee machine, like a little a little aluminium coffee pod. And that back bit is part of the red one. You must get different colours because it doesn't look like it's been painted. It actually is a red, red pod. Then there's a black pod. The black pod at the back has been cut and squashed. And then the gold and the red and a different coloured gold were bent round into roses. And there's some little rock eye, little beads have been stuck on as well. And I thought, what a lovely little little brooch. And it just ties nicely in with this. So I put, rather than up there, I thought I would put it on there. And I don't know where she bought them from. As you know, a lot of people in France, uh, a lot of English people, especially in France, go move to France. They buy little holiday holiday cottages, or they even go and move to live there. And they want to follow the uh, the peasant type life where you just make things and you live off the land. And so um, people make these sort of things. It's starting to take off a lot more in England as well. People are making things a lot more. And I don't know if it's happening in other countries. You can no doubt tell me all about it, whether you are or not. But um, I, she, I just thought these were lovely. The, as I say, she sent me one was red, one was blue and one was green, I think, I believe. I think the other two were upstairs. Anyway, um, but also another little thing I'd like to show you is a little sec It's a second hand pattern that I bought from someone on Facebook 
I think I'm probably pushing it a bit for this pattern <laughs> because the drawing is absolutely to die for. If I was tall like you, Viv Mum, I would look absolutely wonderful in it. Um, whether it would suit a little decrepit, wrinkly woman who's well past her 60s, I very much doubt it. But I'm holding on to it. it just, I just got it the other day. I'm holding it on to it because possibly my daughter may want me to make this. And that it is a Butterick B5930 and that's it. Can you see that? Um, that one. And I just thought, I thought that was a really super dress. So um, the one I like, I love that the lapels on this yellow one i love the lapels on the yellow one and i love the um i like the contrast of the white color with the gray on the middle one and i also like the one on this larger lady on the left hand side um the sleeves are just short sleeves it does look nice but i have to be truthful to myself i don't wear dresses very often um I tend to wear tops and trousers so possibly this might be a waste of time but it just looked so appealing to me that I went and got it um so there you go that's me finished for the day for this uh, this vlog I will probably carry on wearing the in the next into the next vlog wearing this top because I'm sat here and I'm going to carry on doing a vlog but I want to split it up into a smaller one because you get bored sick if you um sword all in one go so till the next time 